Right now, I would like to introduce the person that came up with the theme, A House United, and the idea of what the mission of not only this conference, but of the coalition, and really what all Catholics should be, of trying to unite the house. We hear unite the clans, we hear unite or die, and those are all great. But at a time, we have to mean it. And because of that, I would like to introduce our lead on communications for the coalition and my producer of Hope in the Desert, Joe Gallagher. Hello. OK. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Not today, Anthony. He's cut off. Before I dive in, I'm going to set a little bit of a timer because I know we're all waiting with bated breath for the one and only Jesse Romero. Before I start the timer, let me just hear a really good yeah based off of how you feel about this conference thus far. Yeah, absolutely. And give yourselves all of a round of applause as well. Seven twenty-two. That's all it's going to take me. Maybe even less. So a house united. Um, I think when you look at Catholic media today, I hope you guys don't mind that I'm slouching a little bit. It makes it a little bit more personable. I was going to sit actually, but I figured standing would be better. When you look at Catholic media today, there's a little bit of a generational gap. Uh, and there's no problem with that. There's nothing wrong with it at all. But a majority of Catholic media are led by men and women who were already adults once the time internet media really became a thing. And I think that there's this massive, uh, massive gap between the first guard and what will be the, the second guard of Catholic media. I would consider myself at 26 years old, young, uh, to be part of that second guard. I have grown up in Catholic media, and in that time, talking with, working with, collaborating with, communicating with other Catholic entities, and looking at the situations on social media or certain articles, that there seems to be this big disconnect. And the big disconnect, which Jesse will definitely dive into, I think, or at least I hope, uh, is this idea that there's so many, and actually I don't think any of the speakers here today are really a part of that, blessed be God, but it's a circular firing squad. Everybody is so concerned, and when I say everybody, the, we see in Catholic media there's this massive, these massive debates about the SSPX or the Patrick Coffin situation with the, uh, his, his situation with the, the uh, Sede Vacantism or his stance of it, which he rejects. But everybody's focused on what everyone else is doing. And I think that that's a really big problem because while all the different lay Catholic brands or personalities, or some, I should say some, are arguing among themselves we're ignoring the fundamental issues that are eroding society and the world. Why waste our time debating on the canonical status of a minute, small portion of Catholic priests and laity when most Catholics don't even believe in Jesus Christ in the real presence? And that's a big issue. Kara released a study, Kara, I can't remember the name of the acronym uh, or what the acronym stands for, but long story short, in 20, 2010, they released a study that said 30% of ca practicing Catholics, 30% of practicing Catholics believed in the real presence. Just 10 years-ish later, that almost went in half to 17%. We're watching this exponential decline in belief in the faith. And as somebody who has grown up in Catholic media and somebody who, again, considers himself to be part of that, you know, that, second, that second wave, 
who's going to be left? Who, where's the audience going to be? And it's, it's a really big problem. The island is shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. Now we can go on about tonality or we can go on about, you know, journalistic integrity, whatever, or the canonical issues. But the, point, the point is simple. The issues that need to be addressed today are far more fundamental than what we have seen be, been discussed really up until the last couple of months. The pride issue, the fact that most practicing Catholics are, or most Catholics by name, are okay with the idea of a woman murdering her child. We're, we're, there's this worry of this crack in the second story window and there's a lot of folks that seem to ignore the fact that the house is eroding at the foundation. And that was the idea with a house united. Imagine the state of the United States or of the world if all Catholic medias locked arms and decided to focus everything they have on those core social issues. It would change everything. And I really think that there's probably two people that have the capability to make that band of brothers or to create that alliance. And one of them is about to speak, and that's Jesse Romero. Jesse's awesome. Round of applause for Jesse, please. Jesse, I think that uh, you've done amazing work in the Catholic world. You'll be known for that former cop as the former cop or the author or the, cate the catechist or the apologist or the radio host, a husband, a father. Outside of husband and father, I think the greatest accomplishment that, you'll, that you will have had made is the fact that you were able to bring Catholic medias together to help change the world. Jesse Romero. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh Lord, open up my lips so that my mouth may proclaim your praises. Lord, give me the tongue of an angel that I may speak the truth in love. Lord, give me the grace to proclaim your name throughout the nations to all my brothers and sisters. I pray this in Jesus' mighty, holy, powerful.